Have you ever made like a blanket fort before? Those are really fun. I have, but I probably haven't done that since I was about 12 years old. Oh man, dude, I do it all the time. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Digicast. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, we are Jacobless today. Uh, Jacob was not able to make it. He was busy, but this is kind of big news. So uh, me and Scott are here, and we're going to be talking about uh, brand new information about the Nintendo Creators Program. Now, you're actually a part of the program, so I heard you got a special little email from them. I did. I did get an email. Here, let's see if I can read it without it coming out completely boring and dry, which it's easy to overlook because it's, you know, just kind of... It says, uh, thank you for using the Nintendo Creators Program. Oh, and then it says, we, <laughs> and then it says <laughs> we have updated the Nintendo Creators Program user guide with information on how revenue generated during live stream broadcasts on YouTube will be handled in the Nintendo Creators Program. And then they link you to their website that has this guide. And then they say, live streaming on YouTube falls outside the scope of the Nintendo Creators Program. This means that you cannot broadcast content on YouTube Live from the account you have registered to the Nintendo Creators Program. Please check mm. the user guide for details. Well, that's mm. really all the details there are. They're basically just saying you can't live stream, period. That's just that, that's it. So that's uh, it. If, you, that's if you're in the, the Nintendo details. Creators Program, you just, you can't live stream. You're just not allowed to do it. That, that, that's done. That's it. Yeah. Over with. Yeah. So I, I honestly, I think the only person that I know in the program personally is you. And I know that you don't live stream, <laughs> uh, but I don't really know anyone else in the program, but I feel absolutely terrible for any Nintendo channels that stream a lot of Nintendo content and they're in the program. Yeah. But I, I mean, mean I, I might want to live stream, you know, one day. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now you can't stream Nintendo games. Well, yeah. I'm, but, you know, I, I think that there there may be larger channels than mine, obviously. I mean, I, I have a tiny channel for Elga Corp, but um, there, there's got to be a lot of large channels out there that are, that are probably in the creators program. And mm. the thing that bothers me is, is that, look, like the idea of the creators program is good because it basically says... Look, there's a way that you can uh, do this fairly and legally and with Nintendo's blessing. And, um, you know, as long as you're not totally disparaging their brand or something, then they provide you this option. And they basically say, we will not strike you down if you give us a cut of this. But Nathaniel, you've talked about this before. The, the cut that they take is... Oh, it's absurd. It's really large, right? So <laughs> it's they take, awful. Yeah, it's they, probably... Like Nintendo Creator Program is literally the worst MCN you could join as a content creator sure. because their most generous split is 70-30, okay? So for anyone that doesn't understand what we're really talking about, basically when you join a multi-channel network, they take a chunk of your revenue from YouTube, but on top of that, you're already losing almost half, or no, a little bit more than half of your income from <clears throat> Google. So imagine... Um, having a 55% split with Google. And then on top of that, you had the 70, 30 with this program. Yeah. Like you're making yeah. almost nothing at they, that point. They, they take the majority of the money that you would otherwise get. In other words. Um, yeah. Yeah. Me and Jacob have talked about this in the past, but just in case anyone forgot, it's just, it's still just an absolutely terrible program to get into. If you well, are trying to pursue content creation, it's not just the revenue split though, right? Like, cause we've talked about the revenue split and a lot of people know about the revenue split, but yeah, this, as far as like not being able to live stream or not being able to produce certain kinds of content, in my opinion, that's the larger problem because Nintendo wants to control their brand and their content. For me though, here's the thing is that like live streaming if you're a content creator on YouTube and or Twitch or even other platforms at this time, like live streaming is where it's at right now. And it's one of the technologies that's pressing things forward if you're a content creator. And especially if you're creating Nintendo content, you basically need every tiny piece that you can get. So they're already taking the majority of the money. That, that already makes things really difficult for you if that's what you want your focus to be. But on top of that, you can't even compete with other channels in terms of the kinds of content that they can do. So there's other people that are not a part of the creators program 
that are able to go out there and live stream Nintendo content. And maybe for some of them, they they never get flagged. They never their stuff doesn't really get taken down. Or if it does, maybe it's rare, right? And um, mm-hmm. but then you have other people who are basically trying to be cool with Nintendo. They're trying to follow the rules, and they're not able to even compete in that way. So they've been ruled out. They're not even allowed to do this kind of content now. I don't see how anyone would want to be in this program at this point. It's just it's just absolutely absurd. Like I feel like that's all I've said this whole podcast. But like. Why would you, why why would you ban streaming? Like I kind, I'm trying, I'm really trying to get into Nintendo's perspective, and this is mostly geared towards Nintendo of Japan because I know they're the ones that you know probably came up with this idea. I just like I kind of get it. Okay, you you aren't able to control streaming because everything is live and it's unedited. Okay, and you can't really get revenue from streaming either. But it's just I, I'm just I'm triggered. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a little triggered. I mean, I'm not personally affected by this, but I really feel for those that are in the program and have to put up with this. Yeah. It, and and again, like we've also it, it just it's the same old theme, which is that like part of 2017, Nintendo has been listening so well and yeah. they do what their fans want in so many other areas. And then in other areas, they're still so far behind the times mm-hmm. as far as stuff like this. And it just it's just. I, I honestly think there's probably a lot of turmoil going on at Nintendo right now, both in Nintendo of Japan and Nintendo of America, because um, and maybe some of the other areas as well, because um, I think that this is kind of one of the um, it's like the old Nintendo and the new Nintendo having to kind of do things out. Things are changing, and I think that this will change as well, but they need to come up with something that they're going to be happy with internally and um, they just haven't taken the time to do that yet. I, but I, I honestly think that what this is, this is the old guard saying, no, we can't do this because of X, Y, and Z. And, you know, culturally inside that company, you have uh, all these guys who are now like coming up into these higher ranks and, and they're in charge of the Switch. And we're getting all the stuff that we, you know, we want from that. And we're paying for it too. Like, you know, we're, we're buying it and, and they're doing really well. And they're selling out. But I think this is the old guard, you know, like as much as I hate to say it, this is like probably coming from people, you know, maybe even like Kimishima or Miyamoto. Like this is this is the old guys saying, no, this is not how things should be done. But I think they're wrong. Yeah. I I mean, I don't know anyone that thinks that this is the right thing to do, quite frankly. I mean, it's it's just purely censorship. That's what this is. It's just censorship. And it's it's crazy because streaming is like the number one way now to advertise a video game. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've heard of someone streaming, and because of the game they were playing, they convinced people that were watching the stream to purchase the game. And it doesn't, like, sure, maybe the person that's streaming it is a little edgy, you know, curses a lot. Okay, I understand Nintendo might not be the most interested in people like that, but it doesn't matter, because if if people that are streaming this game are selling Nintendo copies, isn't that the bottom line? Isn't that making money? Yeah, but again, it's it's just it's just control over their brand because during yeah. a live stream anything yeah. can happen. You know, some people they'll put like the chat window up on their live stream and then there's all kinds of abusive stuff that'll happen and then before you know it you have Nintendo content that's paired with, you know, who knows what going on in like a stream chat and and also even some of the streamers, you know, like some of the streamers might be saying stuff that Nintendo doesn't like or whatever. But at least in the case of uh videos that are uploaded their logic is well we get to watch these videos potentially you know yeah, like they we can, can we, check them yeah we can check them and when they're uploaded they're not being uploaded live you know if we even it, nintendo probably figures well if we wanted to we could even strike down the videos temporarily while we see you know and decide what's going to stay up with well, a live stream if it's going on live then there absolutely is no controlling it because you can't just step into a live stream or stream as Nintendo and start, you know, figuring out a way to control how your brand is conveyed. This is nothing new. It's nothing new. It's the same old, same old, you know, it's not surprising. It's not yeah, surprising. I, I'm really not surprised. It just stinks because I mean, Nintendo really has done so much right. I mean, I mean, there's the SNES classic that recently came out, you know, they're, they're on, they understand that the, the people want these classic um, systems. You know, they're restocking the NES. The Switch has been doing fantastic. The games on the Switch are amazing. Like, everything is going so well for them right now. 
But then it's, I don't know. It's just, it's always like the small things. Like, I mean, if you really want to, you can just stream somewhere else, like on Twitch. Right. Um, and, you know, I'm try I'm also kind of trying to think about of like, you know, it, it, the challenge is, is like, well, is there some suggestion that you could make to Nintendo that would even satisfy them? You know, like if, if we were to sit here and brainstorm of like ways that they could be happy, is there even anything that we could say? And I, you know, I'm thinking off the top of my head, probably not. But I, um, yeah, I don't know. I just I think there's two. I think I mean. And like you were talking about earlier, I think Nintendo Japan, Nintendo of America, both have different mindsets. They both have different fair use laws as well in their countries. Yeah. So this yeah. kind of practice is more acceptable in Japan. But when you bring that practice over to uh, the West, that's where things get a little shaky. Yeah. I mean, that could be it for sure. All right. Well, I guess that pretty much wraps everything up. Scott, thanks for joining me on the Digicast once again. If you want to follow him on Twitter at Scott Lee, you should go do that. It's going to be pretty cool. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and leave a comment. Let us know what you think of this Nintendo Creator Program thingy. And here is the end card. And click, click the cards. The cards now. Click every click card. Now. You at only the same have time. a limited number of seconds to click the cards, and it is in your best interest to click the cards right now. Oh, God! <laughs>